Okay, so this question reads, using a calculator, otherwise calculate the exact value of what we have here. So we could try the approach of using our calculator. 3, then the ABC button here, and press 1, then the ABC button again, and 2. If you look at it, this is what's going to show on the screen. 3 and a half. Then we're going to press multiplied by 1, ABC, 2, ABC, 3. 5 and 5 over 6. 5 and 5 divided by 6. Over 4 and 1 over 5. Okay, so now that we actually have the top answer in the calculator already, ensure you have the top fraction in the calculator. So we're going to divide this numerator, which is 5 and 5 over 6, by what? By 4 and 1 fifth. So dividing this uh, numerator, press the division button, by 4, ABC, 1, ABC, 5. Okay, 4 and 1 over 5. Then press equal. And our solution is 1 and 7 over 18. So, so once we have that, we write down the solution, which is 1 and 7 over 18. How do we actually work it out without the calculator though? Well, once you have multiplication, a two mixed number, you want to convert them to improper fraction. So converting these, we have 2, 3, 6 plus 1, that's 7 over 2. And this one by the same method will be 5 over 3. This by the same process will be 21 over 5. Okay, so now we're going to work out this. Now working out this numerator with denominator, we see no common factor but 1. So we're going to multiply straight across 7 fives, that gives us 35. And 3 twos, that gives us 6. So we're going to divide this numerator fraction by this denominator fraction. Now, we're going to take this 35 divided by 6. Let me put my equal sign. That's important. And then write it down, 35 over 6. I'm going to change this division to multiplication. So I'm dividing by 21 over, over 5, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 21 over 5 is the same as 5 over 21. And then we're going to look at numerator and denominator to see if we see a, a factor that's higher than 1. Preferably the highest number that can enter a numerator and a denominator. So here we have a numerator and a denominator. And 7 can enter both. 7 goes into 35 5 times. 7 goes into 21 3 times. Times 5, that's give us 25. And 3 times 6 give us 18. And of course, we can convert this to a mixed number. We don't like it to have the, the numerator bigger than the denominator. So we call this a top-heavy fraction. So we want to convert this now. 18 goes into 25 once. Remainder 7 over the 18. 1 and 7 over 18.